couple of minutes uh, behind schedule, but uh, we'll speed it and make it back up. Today is uh, Wednesday, uh, March the 19th, 2014. Uh, it's uh, 10.02. I call the meeting of the Monier County Commission to order. I ask you to please stand for a moment of silent meditation. Remain standing for the pledge. Never change. <laughs> <laughs> Diane. Okay, there are 42 exonerations today for tax years 2011, 12, and 13. Fiduciary mm -hmm. orders as of March 19, minutes of February 19 and 26. Vouchers, general county fund, 298,877.98. Old Severance, three hundred eighty-five dollars and ninety-nine cents. Camp Muffley, two thousand one seventy-one ninety-nine. Mason Dixon Park, one hundred thirteen dollars and seven cents. Nine one one Cash, two thousand four thirty-one fifty-six. Assessors Valuation Fund, ten thousand one fifty-eight fifty-five. General School Cash, eleven thousand one twenty. Total of three twenty-five two fifty-nine fourteen. I have two budget revisions. Um, for the sheriff's office, one is a check in the amount of two thousand six ninety one twenty five, for reimbursement of drug court participant supervision by home confinement. This time, I'm requesting the following amounts be deposited into budget seven hundred five home confinement, twenty five hundred into line item seven hundred five one hundred three salaries, one hundred fifty five dollars into seven hundred five one hundred four FICA, and the remainder of thirty six twenty five into line item seven hundred five one hundred four zero one. And the other is reimbursement for JAG grant, uh, purchase of micro recorders. Uh, sheriff is requesting that this amount be reimbursed to the law enforcement budget, 700 line 459. Have a motion? So, so, go, ahead. go ahead, Tom. So move for approval and budget revisions. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Renetta. Two grant reimbursements today. First is the VOCA grant for February of 2014, 39-11-59. And the second is the Emergency Solutions Grant Program for RDVIC and Caritas House, total of 1,678.68. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second for approval. All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Sheriff. Sure. Well, I uh, am here today to ask your uh, approval of. Uh, as you know, we talked about before in a couple of past meetings about losing some ranking uh, officers uh, pretty soon. We have, uh, of course, Nick Domenici, who's a sergeant, will be leaving us uh, Friday. Tomorrow, Friday is his last day. Um, in June, we'll be losing Lieutenant Mansell Jones. In July, we'll be losing Captain Walter Fumage. So why'd I tell you all that again? What I'm asking is, we're going to have, and I know this word is a hard word to say, a surplus in personal services when those folks leave because of the difference in their salaries that they're making and what an entry level deputy salary is. So what I'm asking, and not asking for any additional funds because we would have enough to do it, once those folks retire, uh, that we be allowed to hire an additional deputy uh, using the supplemental funds that are left out of their salaries for that position, and we wouldn't need to come back to the commission for any other uh, funds. And if you'd like me to, I have a breakdown of what that would be and what we would have left over even after that additional person was 
You'd still have a surplus after you had an additional person? Yeah, just a very little bit, but we would still have well, enough sur to... Surplus is a surplus. Surplus is a surplus. We would still have additional funds. We would end up basically, from what we're paying now, uh, to hire the additional deputy, we would still end up at the end of the year uh, uh, almost $14,000. Mm -hmm. So you'll, well, you lose four and get five? We would lose three and get four. The three and four, okay. Do you need the motion on that? Yes. I move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second for approval. All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Congratulations. Very good. Right. I also think uh, we'd like to convey to your staff uh, the uh, well job done on the drug uh, arrest situation and discovery. Uh, that at least has to make a little dent in what's going on, particularly when you look at what you recovered. Hmm. Uh, and uh, it's just another uh, big plus for your department, I think, and, and, and your staff. So uh, I think on behalf of all the, the residents of the county, uh, we need to rid our county of uh, that kind of garbage. Absolutely. I thought you looked very good in the picture. Your whole staff did, uh, Kurt and uh, Perry. Crystal makes everybody look good. That's what it is. What's that? <laughs> is that Crystal what it is? Crystal makes everybody oh. look good. She used the right lens. Yeah. I said you might want to get one that has a little bit of blur to it. Otherwise, uh, it's yeah, it. What you do? Stop. What you use? The wide angle lens. Wide angle lens. <laughs> uh, the other thing I, I want, want the narrow lens on me. <laughs> the other thing I want to do is I want to commend you for your Gettysburg address, like of being president of the West Virginia Association of Counties. I read, oh, read I read that. that newsletter. It took me about an hour and a half. But, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Some it, of the uh, attendees said the same thing. But it speaks <laughs> it, it speaks well of Montgomery County's representation at, at that level. Uh, you, I think you did a commendable job. For that. Again, it. thanks. I mean, there's so many thanks right. to you, Sheriff. Well, can I get on there, Mark? Yeah. Uh, and I just <laughs> want to put no raise, no raise. Set by the list. Yeah, I want to put it. Yeah, I want to put in. <laughs> I want to put in the record just clarification that, as he said, there is no additional funds being uh, given from the county commission. This is coming from within his own budget and moving money around because of that difference. And I think that's a, that is very important. Thank you. Well, since he added that, I need to add this. Okay, go ahead. Mm, I, I I am really happy with uh, the development of cooperation between the departments. And, and your your department sheriff really stands out as working with us and understanding our situation and we try very hard to understand your situation and we all work together well and I think that speaks highly of, of uh, the caliber uh, of people that, that you hire and have with you. Thank you, I appreciate that. You know, that goes, that goes both ways. I mean, you know, we all have to cooperate, we all have to understand what what the needs are, we all also have to understand what the limitations are as well. So uh, we appreciate what, what you all do as well. Correspondence. <laughs> We have two letters, uh, one from Don Porker and one from Betty Hawes, and they have both decided that at this time they would uh, like to resign from the former Mason-Dixon Historical Park Board, which is now the Montague County Parks Advisory Board. We, we anticipated that there could be some resignations by because we consolidated three boards into one. And, and uh, I, this is probably a demonstrated example that park members or board members uh, had an interest in just one particular park but didn't really have an overall interest in all the parks. And we anticipated there would probably be some resignations, but uh, hopefully it won't be everyone. Uh, anything else? No. I move we accept the resignations. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Unfinished business. Notice to proceed for the Justice Center. Um, you may want to just make the motion that the President be authorized to sign this once we get the contract documents to fill in the dates, because we don't have those right now. Is he, is he going to share that $20 million that we're borrowing for his signature? 
See, that's the trouble. When I was president, I couldn't get I couldn't get a share for, of anything either. Well, you're lucky. I've worked in them, but I wouldn't want to live in them. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been moved. in them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I move that we uh, authorize the president to sign the notice to proceed for our new justice center. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Amended that he'll be able to sign the contract. If, yeah, if, that, if that. the maker of the motion will accept that. And we'll be able to sign the contract for us. Okay. okay. It should yeah. be here any day. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, I accept that amendment. Okay. Okay. The pre-construction meeting is next Thursday. Next Thursday, and that's with Macero Corporation? Yes, and Silling. And Silling. Okay. Is that open to the public if they wanted to? Sure. sure. I think it has to be. Yeah. What time it's is it here, just uh, for the public's information? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. on the uh, 27th. Yes. In this room. Okay. No, it's at one. One o'clock. One o'clock. March the twenty seventh in the county commission meeting room. Now that's the last document we have it to it's sign. Pre construction meeting with Pro the contractor, so we can get um, make sure all the notice to proceed the contract, and this this then we can hit the ground running April first. Um, just to cause no problems. Could we just send a memo out to all the department heads to state that we are, you know, we had mentioned that we are going to keep them informed with the progress. So we just send a letter that says this is happening so that way everyone's informed. Okay. Thank you. Uh, approval to not use P card for project. This is something the commission discussed early on that we would not be using the P cards. So just want to make a motion that we're not so that the architect is clear. The, the one thing that we found, we found it with the sheriff's uh, building when it was in progress, is that uh, the contractor, awesome. we didn't include uh, notification that the P card would be used because, so they didn't get the opportunity to include that in their cost of the proposal. Uh, and, and it's kind of unfair to a contractor uh, if we don't include, because there is an extra cost involved, and rather than us absorb that cost, uh, we're probably better off not using the card. I think that's the rationale. Move that we do not use the P card for the project. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next. Next, last, uh, in the work session last week, we talked about National County Government Month and what the commission might do for students locally. Um, I proposed a, um, an essay contest that would, this memorandum would go to the eighth grade teachers in the county, both public and private schools, asking them to submit a, an essay of between no less than 400, no more than 500 words. And it would be, how does my county commission make life better for me? Uh, those entries will be submitted by a teacher to the commission. You'll review them and then make a selection of first, second, and third place. First, second, first place being $150 for both the student and the teacher, $100 for second place for the student and the teacher, and $50 for third place for the student and the teacher. And this teacher's share would be for school supplies. Um, also, we'd like to invite those three Mm -hmm. Winners to sit with you during a commission meeting, um, the last meeting in April, on the 23rd, uh, to serve as commissioners alongside of you as being winners of contest. So if that's agreeable, I'll send this memorandum out. The might outshine us. <laughs> <laughs> They're eighth graders. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe we are a good elementary Are you school. smarter than an eighth grader? <laughs> <laughs> or a um, fifth grader? I, am, I've, I happened to talk to a couple eighth grade English teachers already, and one of them said that they were going to talk to the social studies teacher because they thought it would be a neat idea to combine the two projects and teach about county commission government and government and then write an essay on it so the two classes were considering working together. So it make it both just not only an essay but also a history lesson too. And, and they can su submit because the state uh, West Virginia uh, Association, what, what's it called? County, County Commission Association. Is also doing a uh, uh, statewide essay so they can submit 
to us as well as to the state so they have a chance to win right. two prizes. Yes. You need a, a motion on that? Sure. Move to approve the uh, uh, brilliant plans of our county administrator to celebrate county government month. I second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <laughs> And under unfinished business, I don't know if you want to wait until you recognize elected officials, but Carrie, do you have that grant to be signed today? No, it won't be ready until next week because they okay. held off getting their estimates. So okay. 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 I didn't just do well, it. Well, I didn't see it on the agenda. You said it was going to be on the agenda, and so I told them that we would just put next week. Okay. I thought it would be come up under your part anyway. So. Uh, I asked uh, Bobby to, to get a... Uh, estimate on on patching the potholes on one of the roads in in Montgomery County um, and he did that and I'd like to ask him if he'd just report to the Commission and then we can decide where we want to go from there this is that what Elton was uh, talking about what he went to the state about um, I got a price on uh, well, this is just patching potholes that's okay. all we're that's all we're planning on but, doing okay but, but would you cover the extent that they're going to go. Okay. Um, and this is based on uh, Brookhaven Road because we never heard from anybody. So I contract contacted a um, contractor who lives in that area, and I asked for a price for on um, Brookhaven Road from Route Seven clear up to the school. And um, this is uh, there's two options, but we have to go with option one because it has to be prevailing wages. And uh, the specifications are as follows. What they'll do is they'll clean the area of dirt and debris. They'll mill the potholes if they're needed, if they're, if they're big. They will apply some tack coat and install the asphalt to the pothole areas uh, by hand or with the paver as needed. And what they would include in that is the following, of course, flagman, which would be a seven-man crew of laborers and operators, a milling machine if needed, uh, a mini paver, if there was a maybe like a, the mm -hmm. length of your table right there that they would have to put down with the paver instead of by hand. Um, all the trucking, the roller, tack coat, and the tack truck, and a power broom to sweep everything. And from Brookhaven Road to uh, patch the potholes from Route 7 to the school, estimated about 10 ton asphalt to be used. And what we did was asking for a price per ton of asphalt for what this would be to include the man hours and everything going on there. And he gave me a price for per ton, but I told him I needed the material price in that also. So for that road to do that, uh, it's 10 ton asphalt and our price would be like $250 a ton on any other road. And so that would be $2,500, $800 for material. So that road to do that is $3,300. $3,300. $3, okay. That get, uh, that's, that's really good because it gives us an idea of what we're talking about of, uh, you know, 100, 000, what $100,000 could, could fix. Uh, I, I think that's... That gives us good now, now when we get the priority list when they get their final m money in and they give me the cutoff then we need to sit down with everybody that's going to participate and uh, the mayor is just right in front of me so I, I, I'm not sure whether Westover has decided to participate or not uh, I know uh, uh, Jenny Celine I talked to her on Friday she's uh, going to talk to Jeff Mikorski about uh, setting down and basically uh, once we get the their actual cutoff then we can if that's not included then we can add that in but that gives us a, a real clear idea of the, the kind of uh, of uh, effect that a hundred thousand dollars or uh, and even the development authority I talked to the development authority you know they got these uh, Industrial park, and they got different things around. And uh, uh, the, the, I told them it makes sense. I mean, make sure that you have good road getting to your industrial park you know, by contributing. So uh, I also talked to the other. Uh, 
I talked. I, I, I attended the Region Six meeting on uh, Friday, and I talked with uh, Tony Belpre at uh, uh, Taylor County, Jennings, <coughs> and Preston County, and Ernie, the new commissioner there in Marion County, uh, and they were going to go back, and they they they're interested in talking about it. So I'll probably hear something after this week, after they've had their meetings this week. They're interested in possibly participating too. Uh, the What, what was entry, interesting is that we have, um, I think his name is Greg Robinson from uh, Doddridge County and uh, another, the, Wanted wanted to me to come down and talk to them in Doddridge County because they would like to do the same thing on a recurring basis with the Department of Highways because of the damage caused by the trucks and stuff. So, so there's a lot of uh, positive activity here. With interest. Let me throw out a uh, idea. I guess I'm a little impatient, uh, <laughs> but uh, since we went to this extent. Uh, to maybe communicate with Department of Highways that we're serious about this is uh, can we, what do you think about uh, us contacting the DOH and saying look we have a bid on the one road can you expedite and let us know is this going to be in your plans or is it not going to be in your plans because if it's not going to be in your plans then we can make a decision on whether we want to proceed with it and not drag it out Right. Well, actually, I have uh, calls into uh, both Greg Phillips and uh, Dave Creamer uh, to find out now that the weather has changed. What's the what's the date that they'll give that? Uh, they were both in meetings this morning, and they said they'll call me back later today. Okay. The the only question that I have, well, two. First of all, for clarification, did they say that the money? that they're matching can only be for state roads. I, I'm trying to remember. The state road system. Okay, that's fine. So that so I think that needs to be clear for public so people understand that it's a state road system. The second thing is, uh, this, the only concern I have is for a business who says, well, okay, Mr. Doyle received that bid, but he didn't ask us or someone else. So that that's my only concern of how we want to be fair to whoever the companies are that may be interested in doing something like that. So that that's that's my only concern, and I just want to make sure we don't do anything wrong that people feel. I remember when the towing in the city of Morgantown, everyone complained that we were fa showing favoritism. Well, so that's the only, and I don't if, know that. Yeah. If I may respond. Go ahead. To that. Um, if it works the way I'm hoping it works, okay, and the way I discussed with all the engineers down there and all. Uh, there won't be any company that will not be working. Okay. They'll all be working. They're, they're, because it, it's one of the one of the goals that I asked for uh, was that it be done and done immediately. Uh, mm -hmm. So that that means okay. they'll be they'll be contracting out with everyone that can do this kind of work. And if we get the money out there, they'll all be working someplace. Okay. The, the other thing, just for the record, is that we we did advertise. Uh, at oh, last okay. meeting, it was in the newspaper, the article on oh. our, our meeting minutes uh, reflects that uh, we asked for contractors to contact the office. In fact, even the article gave the number to call. That's so right. we, we did attempt okay. to notify. Second of all, uh, we need to recognize the level of urgency of this project. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, there is on some of these roads a very real safety hazard of some of these potholes. And, and I think that gives you justification to try to expedite this process. And the third thing in terms of contracting, uh, if we view it as a construction type project, which mm -hmm. it is, I mean, you go tear the road up and rebuild it, uh, we can go without competitive bids up to $25,000. Okay. Uh, Purchases. Yeah. You can deem it an emergency situation where yeah. Well, and it is in some cases. Yeah. yeah, because the only other public health and safety issues. Yeah, right. They, they, I mean, there's a number of places. The only other place that I was thinking of emergency, and I, again, 
I don't know if it's been fixed between the sheets and the sheets. Yeah, that okay. that area. I mean, which is used by thousands. Yeah, we specifically talked about that. Yeah, I just was wondering, has that been even touched? So that hasn't been touched. Because then, if you do that, that would be the only other thing that I would like to see, mm -hmm. because that one is used so much that the cars, the holes are so big, they're going into the wrong lanes now. Well, we also got we also got yeah. to think of the outlying areas. I mean, that's a, you know, out out of Wade's town. Right. Route seven out there. Route I heard. There, yeah, I heard that there's there. there's actual potholes around. Route Seven, Casfield, that are three foot. Uh, okay. You know, I mean, it's very dangerous. Okay. And, and, and that's one of the things I hope. I, I, yeah. One of the things I yeah. hope that this uh, money okay. can help with is, uh, if it is the case that some of those potholes were there because they couldn't fix it last year, hopefully some of this money and some of some of the donations right. might be utilized. Uh, okay. Well, we can seek a price on it, and I think the main part of that is from like. Uh, where you turn on the Route 7 from Blue Horizon right there, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. clear to, uh, I think, the Mason-Dixon Park area. That's right. Where, I think that's mm -hmm. the worst part. Why don't, why don't we go ahead and just proceed and, and get I an think, estimate on it? That's fine. I think it's helpful because it, then we can determine. Right. See, that's the, that's the whole idea. I'm not saying one's going to work better than the other. All I'm saying is is that once we know about what it would cost to do, do it separately, then we can compare to just adding on and what the different what yeah. the savings is and uh, the, the the reality the reality is just like I said if this works the the way uh, we talked about it and we envision it uh, everyone that knows how to fix a pothole will be out there working in uh, month okay. of April. That's fine. Uh, the, the other thing related to that is we talked a little bit about uh, establishing a separate checking account. Uh, and we haven't had a chance to talk to Kelly about this, uh, Al, but, but in some of our uh, discussions, I think we need to look at, one, if we're going to accept private contributions, and if, two, if we're going to enter into joint kinds of agreements with municipalities, we need a different kind of accounting than our regular accounting system. Uh, we need a breakdown of who contributes, how much they contribute. We need one where it's mutual sharing with the municipality. If they contribute $10,000 and it's matched by $10,000, we need to be able to isolate that by a municipality because we've already committed ourselves that that would go towards the municipality that contributed. So we don't want to use those funds for something else. And one of the concerns, I think, is that if we just keep it in our normal accounting procedures, it might get contaminated. And, and if we have monies left over from one year to the next, uh, we, we want to make sure that we keep clarity with that fund. So I, what I would like to see happen and suggest that we establish a separate checking account so that we can advertise it. We can, we can let contributors know that they can uh, make contributions to that fund directly to the bank that we establish it in, uh, as well as any organization. So it doesn't have to come through. Uh, they can mail it directly to that, and then we ask the bank to keep a, a, an accounting of who contributed and what, what amount. We have, uh, just, just to give you a little bit of information, we have uh, preliminary run some of the scenario by the auditor's office right, and, and ask for guidance on that. Mm -hmm. Should we have a completely separate account or should we just have a different uh, within the general budget? So we're, we're getting some information back from the auditor's office on that. What I'll do is call or ask back and, and with the addition and say, here's what they want to do. Is make mm -hmm. sure they, if there's contributions made, can it be made straight to the bank without going through the tax office showing it as a contribution? Well, the tax office could be a responsible party and still monitor because uh, it's it's county funds, uh, and you would still be the authority that handled that. There's oversight of that, although we so would. Get my road done first. <laughs> no, no, you you can't do that. <laughs> uh, but but I want to make sure that the tax department understands our rationale. This is this is an unusual project. It's a first-time project. 
Uh, there's a need to make sure that the general public as well as municipalities understand where the money's coming from, where the money's going, and the accountability for that, for those funds. Uh, it's unlike our normal budgeting procedures, and they need to understand that. Uh, we're, we're off into new territory with this road fund. Uh, so, uh, you know, something new and something different, they need to be flexible and get out of the box. <laughs> yeah, our, our uh, Region 6 meeting, the discussion started on the, the road fund when uh, Commissioner Jennings from Preston County said, uh, Elton, you uh, commissioners down there in Monagate County is making the other 54 counties in the state look bad. You need to quit. Quit coming up with these good ideas. <laughs> we, we need to... Uh, there is some urgency because, you know, we don't want normal progression of government on this thing because we'll still be talking about it six months from now instead of doing anything. And so the quicker that they can give us a response, the better, or we'll apologize for doing the wrong thing if they don't uh, give us an answer. If it's wrong. I don't think it's wrong. I think we can do anything we want to do as long as, uh, you know, they can put on a different set of classes. Reports from the county commissioners. Okay. Go um, ahead, Tom. First, uh, I want to congratulate, uh, or on behalf of the all three county commissioners, the w WVU rifle team winning the NCAA. Uh, that was two years in a row. Um, the other issue, I, I, I have some kind of exciting news. I did speak to the Parkersburg engineering firm that is supposedly got the contract on the 119.73. Um, they were supposed to get it officially this week and try to do something about it and make recommendations. Now, that's been four months and they finally were told that they had the contract, so we're, we're moving and hopefully before I die this situation will be resolved. <coughs> that's it. So it's exciting. Anything else? <laughs> no, that's it. Eldon? <laughs> no, I don't have anything. Uh, reports from elected officials. Sheriff? Nothing. Uh, Mr. Sesser, yes, Mark. Nothing. Oh, well, let's say welcome back. I know you, I know you've been really ill, so I am glad to see that you are back. Cause I, didn't, yeah, so I'm glad to see that you're moving around. Yes. <laughs> Carrie, I just uh, needed a motion from the county commission to appoint um, election officials. <coughs> it's due by March 25th, so you won't be having another meeting. So it's um. Chair, the executive committees uh, appoint their poll workers, and then the county commission has to accept those so that we can send out letters and more action. Yes, Pursuant to West Virginia Code 3130, a motion is needed by the county commission to appoint the election officials for the May 13, 2014 primary election is presented by the political party executive committees. The county clerk will work to fill any vacant positions between the date of appointment and election day. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Jane, you have any anything? I just came to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Johnson, City of uh, West Coast. Yeah. Well, not really, but until I came all the way over and got dressed up, I might have been <laughs> <laughs> this, this project, which you know, I, I totally encourage, I, I'm going to have to go to council to see what type of participation they want to have, add to the project. But I think that, and I hate to say this because I probably don't think about it later, wish I had, but uh, I'm going to say it anyhow. Westover's kind of in a unique situation with because we have the ability to fix what problems we have on the state part of the road coming right. through. And I know what council's going to say as far as contributing any money, they probably, I don't know for sure, but I, I'm thinking that they're going to say, well, we have to look at our individual paving list before we can determine how much of that, mm -hmm. you know, how much we're going to use on our actual streets that don't, that don't affect this part, this part of the project. But. Uh, Having said that, I guess uh, I, I need to talk to them and, and see what's what. But 
I think you might. I don't know that. I'm sure that Granville has the ability as well. They've got a pretty good crew that works out in the streets as well. So uh, that might kind of separate us and Granville, and maybe possibly even Morgantown. I don't know how Morgantown. Morgantown has more roads. You know? mm -hmm. People always brag west over how we keep our streets clean. Well, we don't. We don't have as many streets as Morgantown does. You know, I mean that's they have a bigger, a, you know, a lot more responsibility. So. Just keep that in mind. That might be food for thought because I'm not yeah, sure. Well, uh, I, I think your all's participation in looking at what roads are being done and what roads you're going to do, what roads the state's going to do, and then the county can fill in between too because uh, the original motion and uh, ideas presented by Commissioner Bartolo was that the it doesn't matter where the roads were inside the city, outside the city. Right. It's part of the state highway system. We're gonna we're gonna get them fixed. So, so uh, e I understand why it might not be a money contribution, but I I, I think to make this work for everyone uh, to its maximum, we'll need your all's participation. Everyone well, absolutely, I, I can say that without without even confirming with council. You know, as far as the late contribution, I'm not, I'm not ruling that out at all. Right. That is something that I have to discuss with everybody sure. on council. But, um, you know, it's just something to think about. And it might even be possible that, because I know that the asphalt last year was just a little shy of $8 a ton if you go get it yourself, which we do. Um, you, you know, for, for this, specifically for this project, Greer may give us a, may give a mm -hmm. uh, you know, little bit of discount on the cost of the asphalt itself. Because that would be that could be their way. I wouldn't expect them to just give it to us. Yeah. Right. That could be their way, of, you know, making some some contribution to this project. But I really do think that you guys are on the right road, and not not just this project. Everything you guys have done, I'm proud to say I'm from Long County. County. So you can tell we'll need some here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I appreciate your letter to the editor. That was. The letter that you've written to the editor, I do appreciate because a lot of times we always hear the negative side and you were very supportive, not only Westover, but Mon County and, and it was most appreciated. Ron Snyder, Town of Granville. I have nothing for you, sir. Okay. Um, Renetta, you got anything else? No, sir. Jambi? Uh, Diane? Janet? I didn't leave anybody out, did I? Yeah. Bobby is, is hiding out Bobby? There. Where's Bobby? He's hiding out there. Give me a minute, I'll go check the court. <laughs> <laughs> There's Bobby right Let's there. go to the rails of yeah, trail. There's a bunch of people down there. Comments from the public? Um, yeah. Would you stand, please, and yeah. state your name and address? I'm Daniel McMullen. I live in First Ward on Hyde Street, 486 Hyde Street. And uh, we've just formed a neighborhood association, a First Ward Neighborhood Association. I was just elected president. And I just wanted to speak about uh, this proposed rec center I've heard about. Um, I believe it's more of Bow Park and City and WVU thing. But we just, uh, in talking amongst ourselves, we just wanted to mention that we'd like to be kept apprised that we had heard through the rumor mill, I guess, more than anything, that White Park was being considered, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we'd just like to be involved in the process if it is, and, and make a suggestion that possibly the uh, this old bus garage up there might be better than off the end of the skating rink, is what I had heard, but uh, that was it. And then also to thank you guys for uh, being proactive on the potholes. Uh, having driven out Route 7 a couple times in the last month, that is uh, unbelievable. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and I would also suggest that maybe um, there are a couple exceptional potholes, like that one on Walnut Street, that if there was somehow we could even be more proactive and fill some of those axle breakers as they come up. I mean, some of them you can handle by just slowing down, but some, they can cause a lot of damage and are very dangerous. And maybe well, there's an even more rapid response we could do to this would be a good thing. According to Channel 12 News, uh, the city of Morgantown is gearing up to start their patching yeah. and uh, and uh, I know that Greer is activated in terms of producing asphalt, so hopefully some of these potholes are going to start disappearing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. well, that was it. Uh, I want to thank you for coming to our meeting. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the things that all of us appreciate is input from the community. and. and uh, it's, it's good to have someone come well, in and give us input and, and comments and reaction. Trying to get active in the first ward. And part of one of the suggestions will be to have public input. Mm -hmm. for, And that was one of the yeah. areas that we had, we had discussed. Um, and I can tell you, 
I mean, we were looking at the possibility of Marilla, um, First Ward, mm -hmm. and other places. Again, no one knows anything yet. I mean, everything's still right. just it's on the ground. Early stage. We just wanted to. And speak no, and I'm glad you did that. Stage. And I will make sure that that gets to the uh, facilities group that is uh, going to be meeting. All right. Well, thanks for your time. I, I gotta say. I'm an old first word boy. Uh, I don't live there now, but uh, I grew up on Cadell and uh, uh, Wagner Road, and I had paper routes all over there. Uh, in, uh, in high school, it was the first word guys and everyone else. <laughs> so I, I, I've got an affinity with uh, First Ward. Now, I'm glad to see you put together an association. I know exactly where Height Street is. I know all yeah. the streets over mm -hmm. there. I've lived there for 30 yeah. years now. I came here to go to school in 82. My dad bought a house there in 85 for me and my brothers. And I ended up buying the house from him and never left. I love it over there. Yeah. Well, well, great. Yeah. And I hope you uh, come back and see us and uh, you know, Keep us apprised of I'll what your up. needs are and what you're doing. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Any other comments? Being no other comments, do I have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. I have a motion to adjourn uh, and a second. All in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. We are adjourned.